Hey makers, I'm Anna Kazunas France here on the floor of CES 2014. And I'm here with Clement Moreau from Sculptio, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the batch control software that they just released. So tell me a little bit more about that. Hello, so uh, Sculptio is a 3D printing online service, and we just announced the fact that uh, with batch control, we, have, we give the opportunity to the customer to really optimize the way we will produce big numbers of uh, similar objects. So because we have a lot of requests about uh, big numbers, or so hundreds, or 500, maybe thousands of the similar object. And uh, we want to give the option to the end user to really control how we will place them in a batch, how we, we orientate them in a batch, and really optimize everything to get the best price, of course, and to get the best quality and delay. Excellent. So what kind of people are using your service so far? What do you see the most of? Uh, the first um, people that are using this service are small business that are launching electronic devices or maybe a Kickstarter campaign. So those people wake up sometime in the morning and they need to create, they need to pr produce 500 or 1,000 of their objects. But you have to keep in mind that usually they have only one or two working examples. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for sharing that with us. Um, and if you could show us a little bit about how the software works, that would be fantastic. I'm sure everybody would like to know more about it. You can visualize how it's done. And the interesting thing here is that you see that uh, the batch is not full. You have empty space here. So you will get the notion that you need to add objects. For example, let's try to add 10 objects and to see if it's OK. OK, I need, I need two more. And uh, I, I know that uh, with these two more, the unit price that is shown here will decrease. So let's try 42. And we see the objects in the uh, so yeah, so we have the best price here. We can check the object. Inside the object, we can check this. Doesn't work. Yeah, that's it. So we, we change the orientation here. And we can check, if we want, we can check inside the object. So there's no problem. The object is watertight and it's great. So what do you think? I think it looks great. I think it's really exciting. It's an interesting new way to be able to you know, optimize and really get the most out of the build area and get the most for your money. Um, so I'd like to get your take on, is making going mainstream? You know, Are you seeing a increased usage in your services? Making it, as of today, is uh, for us, it's uh, going from one single object to a small series or to production. And every, every type of this is uh, making. And for us, it's uh, very, uh, really a growing market. We have a growing market in, uh, in the US, so we do already 50% uh, of our business in the US, but we also have this growing market outside of the US, in France, for example, where we originated from. Fantastic, thank you so much for sharing this with us today.